Hi guys, it's Colin from bashbackpain.com here again. Listen, I had a request uh, one of my previous decompression stretch videos um, for a decompression stretch for the L2, L3 vertebrae region. Uh, the most common site of disc herniations, disc problems is typically L4, L5, L5, S1, uh, but it can happen further up the spine. So today I'm gonna to show you one decompression stretch for the L2, L3 region. Now these stretches, they're, they're not my own. I learned them many, many years ago from a rather famous osteopathic doctor called Dr. Guy Boyer, and he called them l uh, It's essentially a decompressive, decompression stretch, isolated at specific segments of your spine. So L2, L3, what's the setup? All right, simply on the floor, shoes off, stocking feet or bare feet. We want to open the legs about 90 degrees at the hips. We want to rotate the legs inward. So that's external. We're going to go internal. Now, toes are going to be back to the knees, okay? And the inside edge of my foot is going to be turned in, all right? So we're rotating the legs inward. We're going to bring the toes back and the inside edge in. So not out, in, okay? Then we're going to lock the knees, right? Some of you guys will be able to actually lift the heels off the ground. <clears throat> that doesn't work for me, unfortunately. But I lock my knees, I keep my legs rotated inward. Now I fixate this, okay? It's fixed, it's on. I turn the legs in, I've got my toes back towards my knees. I've locked my knees, okay? Not excessively, right? I'm not like, you know, I'm not gonna go into cramp here, but it's locked in position. Upper body position, I'm gonna bring my arms up beside my head biceps close to the ears, and I'm going to externally rotate my arms. So if I start here, okay, thumbs are together, I externally rotate, okay, I come up, biceps by my ears, my thumbs are now facing behind me. Now the stretch itself, it requires forces from both directions, so we're gonna be stretching up to create an upward stress, okay, stress. When we keep the legs turned in, locked in position, that gives us a stable position on L3 for us to pull L2 up and create that space, all right? So, we're here, externally rotated, thumbs towards the back, I tuck my chin in, okay? And I'm gonna be reaching up, I sit up as tall as I can, tall as I can, tall as I can, reach my arms up towards the ceiling, I'm stretching up, I'm stretching up, I'm stretching up, I'm maintaining this, okay? I maintain this is turned inward, toes back, you don't lose that position. Pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. I'm tall, I'm tall, I'm tall, I'm tall. You keep going, you keep going. 15, 20 seconds is fine to start with. And then relax slowly. And that's gonna create <clears throat> a decompression at the L2, L3 region. Now, I'm gonna break it down a little bit further for you. Okay, I'm gonna show you from a different angle as well. A lot of people said, you know, <clears throat> how hard should I push this stretch? Well, in the beginning, you want to actually just fuel the stretch. Get into the position, okay? Now, for some people, actually sitting up, sitting up straight can be a problem, okay? This might be their maximum here. That's okay, we're always working to our individual maximum. Now, what can help is having a wall behind you, yeah? Because you can actually use the wall to guide where your spine is, okay? Now, I don't want you to lean on the wall, but you can have it behind you as a little guide so if I start touching the wall, oh, okay, I'm gonna be off the wall, so I'm sitting upright, yeah, just from the side. So here I am, I'm doing my stretch, okay, I feel myself going, if I've got the wall behind me, I can feel the, I can touch the wall, I feel it, and I wanna go up. Now you might notice, first couple of times you try this, maybe you're here, that's okay. As you get better, stronger, more able to hold the stretch for longer, you will start becoming more accustomed to it, I'm able to bring yourself up into the correct position. Remember, chin's not jutting forward, it's not looking at the ceiling, okay? Eyes are level, you tuck your chin in, and we do the stretch. Maybe you've got a bit of a shoulder issue. Perhaps you can't bring biceps all the way to your ears. That's okay, if this is, if this is where your maximum is, that's perfectly fine, okay? You can stretch from there, yeah? But we have to have constant tension, constant tension. So. When I'm telling you to, you know, lock the legs in position, you maintain that position. When I'm telling you to reach up and stretch, you maintain the stretch. You keep pushing up, keep pushing up. 
Now that comes back to the question about you know how hard you should push. So first off, time. In the beginning, 10-15 seconds, perfectly fine. Okay, work on adding five seconds, 10 seconds each time you do the stretch. You want to work up to a minute, 60 seconds, all right? Now, in the beginning, as far as power and intensity goes, if I was to jump into this, I've never done this stretch before, I jump in and I go, 100% power, okay? Okay, you don't make funny faces, right? Don't relax your face. Pur, pur, pur. It's like, oh, oh, I feel something here. Oh, I pulled something here. Oh, I pulled something here, okay? We want to ease in to those stretches, all right? So I always say to people, in the beginning, 50% power. Just try to focus on feeling the stretch, okay? Because some people might feel it here as well. That's okay, you're gonna feel it where you're most tight in those tissues. As you get better with the stretch, you'll feel it get to be more concentrated in this upper lumbar region, all right? So, start with 50% power, 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, I'm just like breathing, don't hold your breath, okay? So I've got the stretch on, I get a little push up, okay, my stretch is on, about 50% power. Try this, okay, with 50% power. Maybe after four or five days, go up to 70% power. So now you're actively pushing a little bit harder, a little bit harder, yeah? Do that for another four or five days. You feel comfortable with it, go to 100% power. Now with 100% power, I can still talk, okay? Yeah, it's a bit more restricted because I'm obviously actively engaging all those muscles, pushing as hard as I can, hard as I can, pushing, 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 <sighs> maintaining my posture, maintaining my posture, and I relax, okay? But I can still maintain a conversation just, right? Because I'm not freezing up my face. I want to make sure you relax those facial muscles, breathe naturally, breathe deeply. When you breathe out, if you're taking deep breaths with the exit with the stretch, if I breathe in, as I breathe out, <sighs> Increase the stretch more, up, up, tall as I can, tall as I can be. And then when you relax, relax slowly, okay? So guys, try this out, 50% power, 10 to 15 seconds to begin with. How many times the day, you might be asking? I would start with one time in the day, just to get used to it, okay? Um, if you only do it one time in the day, do it before you go to bed, so you can kind of set your spine before you lay down for the night. Um, after the first five, six days, you can try to bring in a couple more times a day. I mean, yes, you can do it two or three times in the day when you're beginning, you know, it's not a problem, but just don't do 100%, then 100% progression, okay? 50% power, 15 seconds, a couple of days, up to 70% power, take your time with it, all right? Now, these stretches, they do uh, form part of my lower back pain, static pain recovery course. You can check out that in the little section down below, have a look at that. If you get any questions on these stretches, any questions for myself, please hit me up in the comments down below. If you've liked this video, please share it and like it. Thanks guys, have a great day.